Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Baby Einstein, Atari, many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And this is part of the e-commerce mastery series where top sellers and experts teach you what really works to boost your e-commerce business. And I'm excited. You know, today we have Richard Bacchus, and uh, he runs ABC Vacuum Warehouse and Green Steam with his dad, Ralph. How old's your dad now? My dad is 72. 72. ABC Vacuum started in 1977 as a mail order vacuum business, and they operate a brick and mortar store as well as a 20,000 square foot warehouse and employ 28 staff. And Green Steam, they've run since 2008, and it provides alternatives to harsh chemical cleaning products because after decades of experience in the retail floor business, they knew there was a better way, and they used German innovations to actually come up with the steam products to clean floors. So we'll talk about that too. Richard, thanks for joining me. Thanks. Great to be here. So since it's Inspired Insider, I always like to ask what's been the lowest moment business-wise and what's been the proudest moment? You know, because I know it's not always million-dollar days type of thing. Right. So what's been right. what's been the lowest moment? Talk about some of the tough times. Yeah, so, you know, those are, those are always around. Um, the more dynamic, the larger your business gets, that could be a day-to-day -day thing, you know? So right. <laughs> you just have high and low points during the day. But I'd say, you know, there was one time where um, we had probably uh, – you know, you, you have somebody that you have to let go, and yeah. and that's always a that's always a low point, you know, because you get to know them, especially in a small company. Uh, you're like a family, and so there there's been a couple of those where that's had to happen, you know, for various reasons. But uh, but as far as that goes, you know, I don't like to focus on that too much. There's a uh, as far as a high point, a high point definitely was when we moved into our new facility. Hmm. Um, is this the 20,000 square foot facility or 20,000 square foot facility before that it looked like we were we had a trailer park going behind that store I'm telling you we, we had all these small portable buildings they were just linked really? together every year we'd add a new one thinking that was the answer to our problems and then we what overrun. was it like what's the structure look like is it like a I'm picturing like a doghouse or something like what is it pretty close yeah. um so <laughs> So the store was very small up front. It was like just a regular box, you know, that yeah. you would see a regular storefront. But out back, we had connected, I had a carpenter connect these 10 buildings, you know, that we had purchased really cheap. And these things would get super hot in the summertime. And then we started purchasing, uh, you know, truck containers, you know, that, that used to fit on the backs of trucks. Mm, I just leave them out there. Just leave them out there. And so a truck would come in for delivery and we had to hand take everything off and go put it in these individual little storage buildings. And for the space that we had between wow. them, we had wooden structures built. We had a carpenter make these wooden structures. It literally looked like something out of, you know, the Calcutta or something, you know, where you go, don't go in that area. Right, right. <laughs> this is all in the back, and we had it. And um, I remember thinking we were never going to be able to quite get out of there because we were so busy all the time. It's like, how are we going to move all this stuff? How are we going to – well, we finally found this one warehouse facility. We got it built. Um, I remember – I, not even believing we were going to do it once it was finished, and we moved everything in in one weekend. We had this great plan. We logistically figured out, and we were sitting in there. And I remember just like looking around that day, going like, "I can't believe we're here." You know, it was just like this, this big high point. Yeah. And um, this one guy came over and visited us. And he said, "You know, it's going to happen next." And I was like, "What's that?" He goes. Well, now you're going to go broke buying uh, merchandise because you got room for it. <laughs> I was like, "No, no, we know how to run land." And I remember we were stretching the bank account out because, yeah, he was right. You know? So we had all this new inventory. But uh, but just to be in a real facility, it was it was just such a high point. I so mean, how long from the beginning, from 1977, what point did you move into the 20,000-square-foot facility to give people an idea? That was 2005. Yeah. So literally almost, uh, you know, so now we're, we're working on like year 30. Yeah. Almost what? 30 years, yeah. So we've been here ten, just a little over ten years. Yeah, yeah. What's the toughest part of your job? Uh, toughest part of my job is probably uh, juggling my time now. So uh, it used to be where I could I could get my hands dirty and work on the on the deals and the listings, and I actually like doing that kind of thing. Yeah. But now I'm now I'm more in the CEO type role, so it's I have to yeah. I have to. What's your day to day look stuff. like? Yeah. What's the day to day look like for you? Uh, so my assistant schedules me, and then I generally will have like uh, at least. 
three or four set meetings. Mm-hmm. And uh, mornings I come in, it's emails and reports, that kind of thing, responses. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we'll head into whatever else has to happen for the day, you know, so finances, that kind of thing. You know, it's stuff you have to deal with, but uh, I still, my favorite thing is, uh, talk, I love talking to guys like you. I also yeah. love uh, talking to uh, to different customers. You know, we, we're dealing with new customers, just getting them on board and, yeah. you know, seeing what we can do for them and helping them out. Yeah. Uh, the other part is that I really do like still getting at a listing level and looking at things yeah. and uh, and trying to figure out how we can tweak things to make yeah. that, that experience better. Yeah. So yeah. best part about working with your dad? Um, <laughs> you know, the best part is getting actually to see him every day and getting to be with him because uh, I know that a lot of people can't do that. You know, they don't they don't see their parents, much less get to work with them. Yeah. And uh, the only downside to that is my poor mother suffers. So <laughs> does she come in? I mean, it sounds like your I grandparents were in the business see at some my point. My mother, because you know, I'm always with my dad. So the last thing on the weekend is, <laughs> do I want to go see my mom? No, my dad. I don't want to see him. Yeah. But um, so she suffers from that. But but it is a it's it's a blessing to get to actually be and see your your parents every day. Yeah. So what should we leave people with? We talked about a lot of different things, very valuable things, Richard. What should we leave people with? Um, Let's say like an e-commerce business is, you know, looking for whatever edge or advice. Yeah, always, always go at things like I said. My pers- go from the perspective of the user. If you find out something that, that the user is looking for, or they're wanting, or they're needing, even this, uh, just a little something different from somebody else, that's a huge edge. Yeah. Um, just a reason for someone to click on you instead of somebody else. You know, there's there's lots of ways to do it. Always, always keep looking for that. My own personal thing is I always tell people there's there's two things I'll say actually is um, you you will try five things before you find one thing that works. Keep trying things is the key. Yeah. Keep trying things even if they're stupid or you think they're dumb or it's what just just keep doing it. The other thing is is that um, I've always found in my own personal life that I would rather have somebody besides myself tell me no. So <laughs> you know when you hit those walls, hit those walls. That's fine. Sometimes we we like to inside ourselves go. Oh, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think I should do that. Or, I see. Oh, I so just try so it and try it. and see so what the stop feedback yourself is. More often than anybody else will. Yeah. What was one of those breakthroughs? You said you tried five things and one finally worked. Do you remember one of those? Um. They that, one that you maybe almost gave up, but you're like, oh, we'll just try one more thing. <laughs> um. Well, you know, I I'll tell you. Well, on a on a recent level, I was yeah. sitting there going, you know, I, th- everybody was kind of wanting to give up on this one platform. They're like, I eh, don't know about new egg. You know, if you're trying, I was like, you know what, let's really get, let's really get behind it and just give them a shot. You know, let's, mm. let's give them what they're asking for. Let's move them ahead of the queue yeah. and see if it takes time, about. energy and effort to, to do that. You know, when you decide to, yeah, that's right. It's and so we, uh, we tried a bunch of things that hadn't worked already on an individual basis. They tried an all-in-one approach that let's try this, this, and this. I said, let's go for it. And uh, boom, they had we had record sales with them last week. So wow. that's a recent thing. Nice. Um, so like I said, sometimes you you know, don't don't let context go either. Don't don't let an idea go. Sometimes things circle back around too. Yeah. You know, just because it was denied or it wasn't a good idea at that time, yeah. don't trash it. Keep it in the back pocket because you never know. Situation has changed, the markets change, people change. Management changes. Everything yeah. changes. Yeah. And all of a sudden, an idea that someone wasn't receptive to, they may be receptive to it now or, or really wanting it. So yeah. you may have just been, you know, you, your instincts may have been correct at, at that moment, but it just wasn't the right time. Right. So, so uh, never let those things go. Keep trying on everything. Don't be afraid of failure. Failure is always, you know, the way I always look at that is, I go, that's just your lesson to success. So, I mean, right, right. You know, just keep hammering away at it. Yeah. So where should we send people to check out if they want a vacuum vacuum part or some green <laughs> products? We abcvacuumwarehouse.com. And then the other site is Greensteam, but it's spelled G-R-U-E-N-E-S-T-E-A-M.com. Right. Green, like like Greensteam. That's, right. you know, that's a, that's right. a, it's actually green in Texas. Yeah. If you're in Texas, that's we, we pronounce it green. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Richard, this has been absolutely fantastic. I really appreciate your time and expertise with everything. Absolutely. I really enjoyed it. Yeah.